a box from Moto Mike, a toy hunter on the BOD. He has a really nice YouTube channel called One Man's Junk. That's Moto Mike and One Man's Junk on YouTube. Wait for my deboxing. Snippy snip. Look at this box. Isn't it glory? This is so cool. Priority mail and blah blah blah. UPS, which is, I think, nope. It's United States Postal Service. Never got a box from that shipping company from Modu Mike. That doesn't matter. The box is in. Actually, it's in overall good shape. The last few boxes from you, Mike, were. Well, it came through. But then that's not your fault. Uh, our postal office agency apparently soon released a video on how far boxes drop, at least here in Australia, up to five feet of a drop. Oh, there's some damage on it. Looks like someone picked it right there. Yeah, someone obviously has picked it right there. Whatever. I'm sure all the toys are in good condition. If not, I'll track you down, Mike, on the BOD and ask for monies. No, I want it. Because of what I paid for. Moto Mike does have some really good prices, but also some really good toys. He does what? Well, maybe. I don't know. I do like to tease my book. J. Something. Okay. Oh, no, it's not what I asked for, Moto Mike. I asked for toys, but not scrunched up paper, eh? Can I get a refund? Give me. Oh, wait a minute, there's toys underneath. Ooh, yes, there is toys. As you know, I like to wear pictured shirts, people. That's why I would love a really nice Beodine shirt, but also a baseball cap. And I actually like Led Zeppelin. I like their Stay With Away to Heaven shirt. I mean, song. Both. I haven't listened to other Led Zeppelin songs. If I like something, I like it. But when it comes to music, if I like one song or track, I don't try to bother listening to the other stuff because it may not be as good as to what I listen to. I just wish that song wasn't that long. But anyway, packet number one. What could this be? I dropped a piece. I got it. It's armor. Which is weird, because that little bit was actually on the, like this one. Weapon, look at that. It's got a snake hilt. You know what this is, people? I sure do. Even by looking at that piece, I actually know what that is. Mind you, I've been asking for for months from you Canadians. Not a single one of you Canadians has got me this. It took an, an American to hunt me down some of these. Oh, shit. I just... Shit. Oh, it was just a bag of parts. Okay. Weird. I got some of these, too. Which I'm hoping the rest of them is... in there somewhere. <laughs> And I got this guy on card recently. He comes from this set. I mean, this is weird. This is really weird shit. I like it. This is actually from Toonsylvania. Like Toon, then Vania. It's a weird spin off of the uh, classic horror stuff from Transylvania. Hey, Mish. I have tried. I really have. But. You know, I've got five boxes of toys that hit in or coming in last month or so. Yeah, I have yet to empty one box that's still in my car. Full of 
Disney. I did do a live video of it, but I do try. The hell is this from? More bits and pieces. I love bits and pieces. Wow, I did get some bits and pieces. Look at that gun. When it comes to guns and accessories, I really don't care what they're from. I just, you know, look at that. It's got a skull in the front. Pew, pew, pew. You know, I play with toys when I'm doing my photoshopping projects. You know what I'm talking about. And animation in general. It's mech. Mech? Sorry. I'm stupid when it comes to pronouncing names. I really am. I do try. I really do try. It's just my learning process. I, and, wow. I've never seen anything like this. Look at that. And it's a missile, too. I mean, that is... That's something special, Mike. That is really cool. I don't know what the hell that's from. But look at that. That is... Jesus Christ. That is cool. I love that. I have no idea what this is, but... Jeez. That's uh, that's cool. That's special, I think. But anyways. Uh, learning curve when I was a kid in elementary school. I had difficulty speaking, talking, reading, writing. So, um, I kind of... When I say someone's name, I like to, or try to, send out all the letters that make it. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not a good talker when it comes to that. But, you know, I... Leech and Meech. Is that how it's pronounced? Meech? It's, you know, that's how I, I pronounce Leech. Leechy. Leech. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not that good at that sort of stuff. But I did get private tutors to learn how to speak. Speak read and write when I was a kid and I couldn't do any of that stuff I don't think I could probably speak until I was like nearing seven or nine and you know the way that I do my live videos I would never be able to do a live video when I was a kid ever because I couldn't figure out the words to say or how to say them but you know in exchange you can call me anything you want to call me in fact I don't even have a nickname on the BOD Look at that. The hell is this from? Okay, so that's the front. You shove something in there, but don't know what, but look at that. That's pretty cool. And it's spring loaded. And on this side, is that a Conan? Because I do have that guy, the Conan the Barbarian, weird looking skeleton figure. I UV painted it. The horns were busted and didn't have that pull string that he talks or spins around. He, that part was busted. That's pretty cool. I like parts. I like pieces. I do sell quite a bit of those parts, but usually after I dig, I keep stuff. And that's why when I do sell my stuff, even from the BOD, I will sell it, but I'll make sure you pay for it. I don't like to sell my stuff, but I will once I have like three or four items of the same one. Like my Disney stuff, I've now got quadruples of some mostly all Shh. it's getting big oh this is interesting what the hell I mean like it's like an axe but it's missing the long bit so it's like a knife axe I mean what the hell is that it's got a skull on it it's purple I love purple my favorite color is purple even in the Revenge of the Sith video game, when you play two player, and both players choose to be Darth Vader in the multiplayer, Darth Vader, one of them, I think player two, will have a purple Darth Vader. Like you can actually see, he's actually purple. Look at that. Same thing in the Revenge of the Sith movie. I don't know, maybe if they couldn't do a proper 3D modeling texture for Darth Vader, but if you noticed, his, I think it's his armor is purple or slightly purple, but his cape is black. But you know, that's some weird 3D eye shit going on. So maybe it wasn't intentional, but you'll notice it. It's only slightly like dark and purple or dark blue. But then again, 
early technology, I guess, for uh, Star Wars. What the? What the? Oh, it's a missile. But when you put it upside down, it's got itty bitty skulls. That is a radical. Damn, I like that. I mean, look at that. I mean, how hard would have been done that to get that made? It must have gone to something big. <laughs> it's a bony. <laughs> it's a bony boned missile. <laughs> uh, God, Mike, you're a funny fella. I like you, Mike. Would this go in there? If I shove that in there, will it fit? Hmm. Oh, it does fit. Look at that. Fantastic. That's cool. That's pretty cool. It looks... Well... It's, it still works. The spring still works after all this time. I don't know what it's from, but I like it. But... It, you know, it's rounded at the tip. As I said, Mitch, you can call me whatever it is you want. Disney boy, Star Wars guy. I used to be called Star Wars guy long ago. The dagger. Or you can still keep on calling me weirdo. It's okay. I don't mind if other people call me weird. Wow. That. I think this is almost better than the. Than this. Look at that. I'm wearing a dark shirt, so it's hard to see. But look at that skull. It's like a skull of Cthulhu sort of thing. Look at that. I think that is almost better than this. But this one was purple like that. This one will be better. That's pretty cool. And whoosh, whoosh, because it's got... Little dagger knives. Ooh, I have two little daggers. It's very turtles look. That weird brown color, but I think this this is just something of quality because it's much thicker and denser than the turtle stuff. Let's see. More paper. Moto Mikey did some awesome postaging. Moto Mike and Chris Daniels really know how to package stuff in the US and Australia. I only had one mango item from Chris Daniels so far. But for a $4 Star Wars figure that I was going to decard, you know, $4 claim is still a $4 claim. Ooh, yeah, look at that. This is part of that Toon Sylvania action figure stuff that I got from Odin Mike. This is some cool stuff. I mean, I do like classic monsters, and I really am trying to get a hold of monster stuff. But I don't care if it's Universal Monster or. Look at this guy. I mean, look at him. A real goofball. And he comes apart in pieces, too. So he's probably. Am missing oh, he is missing a flap. Weird, but. He is missing a flap right there. But that flap doesn't hinge in anywhere. Weird. How does he... He does action stuff. So I'm not too sure how to do it. And I don't want to break it. And yet, I really want to know how, how he does it. Oh. What the hell? So it looks like you fill him with goo or something. Because he's got a hump plug. It goes right there. Hump plug. I don't know, but thanks, Moto Mike. Awesome. Awesome stuff. It's really goofy in person. I I bought a Frankenstein one on card recently. And I liked it. I spent 20 bucks and I just picked it up at Ben Light. Nathan Lawson, you know the guy. Uh, James Hildu, another one, that's a wind-up one, oh, again, Tinsylvania, I don't really like wind-up toys, I have fraction figures because they're breakable, but I bought it in that collection of stuff, huh, wait a minute, I actually like this one, 
Here, let's see. But it is breakable. I guess it, I watch this. Watch the eyes. Ah, <laughs> uh, I like that eye popping action. That's that's cool. I did not know that moto mic. Ah, oh, man. I like this page very much. You guys make me laugh. I really, you, you guys do. Oh, what do Mike got the body? So I got the head. But why did you package the body and the head differently in different packages? Oh, that's why. So his head shoots off. Yep. So you put the his head in there and he shoots it off. Okay, I got it on. It's from 1998 DreamWorks. Holy shit. So this is pre-Pixar. Uh, DreamWorks was Pixar? No, Pixar was DreamWorks. That That's it. And then they sort of split in two. So DreamWorks and Pixar are two different bullshits. How does... And you fill him up too. It's a bit gay. You fill him up. Whatever. It's all your fault. So how do I, how do I pop off his freaking head? His arms don't do it. Oh, his arms do do it. Well, one of them does. So you just twist his arm and his head goes popping, but that spring still works and it's actually very rigid. If I show it to you, it's going to go, and then I'm going to lose it. Do the lens day thing. That's cool. I like that. I mean, I could fill up, you know, goo in there if I wanted. Awesome stuff. Very cool. I like it's creepy. But it's also a good kind of creepy unusual. I like it. Oh, what the hell? What the? Did I buy this mic? Like, seriously. I must have been... I bet you this is a late night purchase. As I've told m many of you people, when it comes to late night, I don't do so good because my diabetes pill drops my blood level sugar quite quickly and I get kind of fucked up in the head. But he looks like from Pennsylvania. Bondi. Made in China. I don't know. Is this from that weird Igor stuff? I mean, look at it. It's a one-eyed, not purple person people eater. But it's still a one-eyed creature. It's got little Halloween bats on them. And what the hell is this? I mean, his ears look like if they do something, but not quite. Maybe they're supposed to be loose. I don't know. It's kind of cool. More like it. Oh. Okay. So he does this. He's got little button thing on his ass. So his tail is the action. I do kind of like it. It's very almost like, ah, real monsters. I don't know. I like it though. It's cool. There he is. There he is. A loose Frankie. Oh shit. I thought I was just going to have a quick play with him, but uh, he's actually a windy. There's two, well, actually, there's about three or four variants of this figure. One, a wind up toy. The other, action figures. Look at it. Look at the size of it. Let's get size comparison. So the wind up version is almost bigger than the actual action figure. Which is cool because that means scale wise. You know, they got the proportions kind of accurate. And he is slightly broken. Motherfucker. He is slightly broken. Mm. So that bit is broken off. Mm. Any idea how to fix him up? Because I don't think he broke on your page listings of it, I don't think. But, you know, he is a nice figure. Ah, damn. 
This is on you. It's very difficult to wind this guy up. Okay, so his arm should move. Nope. It's stuck there. So he's got funny foot flops. And his piece sort of does move. It may not move that well. There it is. So this thing spins, his head spins, and he walks. Weird. That, that arm is not supposed to move, and yet it's in the way of the winder. It's very difficult to wind him up. Weird. Weird. I do like it. Next one. Oh. Cool. I got more than one. I got another eagle. The hell. It's a battery operated one? But the hell. How do I... This thing's heavy. This is a heavy figure, like really heavy, like solid. I have no idea how he works. Also from 98 DreamWorks, from Rhode Island, I think. No, Toy Island. Toy Island. Oh, no wonder I can't get to the batteries. I mean, what would he do? There's no wind-up mech. There's no reason for him to be anything, but it looks like these got like, I don't know if those are LEDs in them. Moto mic, any insights? Or those buttons? Mike Dye, what is up, Jay? I'm unboxing a box from that legendary man, Moto Mike. This is Moto Mike's box from him to me. That's Moto Mike at One Man's Junk on YouTube. And I assure you, I'm not getting paid to mention Moto Mike or his YouTube channel. I wish, though. But yeah, I mean, he's got weird pins or maybe LED lights. No idea. Maybe they're buttons, but, you know, they're all the way deep in him. And he's battery powered. Look at that. That's for his battery case. I have no idea what the hell that is. Except for, it's from Toonsylvania. And I do like classic monster stuff. And I don't care if it's Universal Monster or weird, freakish, ghoulish stuff from this. As long as I can afford it, and I'll probably buy it. No idea. This is a heavy figure. Like, it's solid, completely solid, probably because of that battery case. I mean, it's, if you could feel the weight... I mean, the bigger one, the one where you fill them up with ooze and stuff like that, is completely hollow. What the hell is this? Oh, this is more of it. I bought a collection of this. How goofy does this look? It's got little translucent green. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, I didn't know that. On some of your post motor mic, maybe you should say spring loaded Frankenstein head. Baby. Baby head. Monster maker. That's pretty cool. When people saw that, I think they would go, Wowzer. Oh, wow, we. Now look at that. I like that little green bit too. It's cool. It's funny. It's adorable. Oh, it's Burger... This is a American Burger King. It's from Burger King Kids Club. So it's a Kids Club meal. But this is pretty big for a kid's toy. I mean, it's to size. I mean, that's pretty chunky. How do I wrap it? A liquor store with with toys that aren't even toy guns. I did get some toy guns from Moto Mike. Would you like to see? Mike die. 
I gotta get some. Where's that junky missile? Not junky missile, but cool junky missile. That's mine. My team, take a look at this. It's a missile. I don't know what it's from, but look at that. I do like that. That is cool. But let's get on to it. Ooh. Holy fudge. This is like Dr. Finkelstein from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. But that head, it's solid. Like, it weighs more than this thing. And this is just its head. But it looks like if it comes apart. I mean, it's got so many screws in it. Can you hear that? Oh shit. Maybe it's tougher. You can just spin it. I don't know. What do you think, Moto Mike? Any any insights? Heavy. Really heavy, but it doesn't seem to come apart unless you unscrew it. Good know. It's really heavy. Here he is, my Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Here he is. This is the actual action figure, which his arms were. And you were smart to actually put all the pieces separately. I forgot that some of these figures explode. Like, you actually eject them with their... Um, Oh, Joy, I put his arms in the wrong way. There we go. He almost going to have left arm on his right arm plug. Because he pressed the buttons on his shoulders. All the pieces fling out. Look at that. And you also fill them with goo. Or water or something. Oh, he's missing his plug. But well, that's okay. He's been deplugged. But that's cool. As I said, I do like classic monsters. That's why I've been buying them from from the BOD. I can't afford them in Australia, literally. If I were to buy this shit in Australia, I wouldn't be able to afford it. From you guys, it's like almost free. So I just wish that you guys would just give it to me free. Uh, let's take a look at this. What? Oh, okay. So I get more windums. Wow, okay. This is an interesting windum. I think this is the best windum. Oh, man. Not very well made. There we go. Let's close. I'll wind this guy up. See what you guys think of him. It should take down soon. Okay, he's supposed to come open. This is what he looks like. But I think his spring has had it. Ah, sorry. Springs. Nope. No spring action at all. It's just... I didn't break. It just came off his hinge. Oh, maybe that's why he's so loose on his uh, pins. They just naturally come open. And look at that. It's just a, a brain and a spine. Some people are spineless. Huh, what the? I bought another one? What, well, uh, must I be falling asleep? And who the hell, what the hell is that? I don't remember buying that. Maybe it was free stuff? I don't know. Looks a bit weird. But I don't care. Some people are weird. Some people are normal. Oh, cool. See, 
Look at this one. This is my third one. I just got one and unboxed one today, another one. But this one's more or less, it is incomplete, but he is complete. I do not have that little shin pad. It actually comes off to reveal a boon. Okay, so he does not have a boon. There's actually a bone that's supposed to be right there. And all my other figures, I do have the bone. Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't realize that he actually had little clips or hinge for it right there. For that little black like thing. So I'll steal my worst looking out of the other two that are loose like this. And make this one a bit more complete with that little boom. Okie dokie. That's pretty cool. Sorry guys. My eye itched. But. Moto Mike, did I really buy this? I don't know what this is from. It looks like from Shadow Riders like the other fella, but. Did I really actually buy this? I mean, did I? Like. It's not something I would ever buy because it's not monster-like. And quite frankly, it looks a bit... Not terrible or bad. It just looks... You know, like King Randor, but lame. <laughs> uh, but you know what? I could give this to a buddy of mine. You know that Butterbeats fellow in Southport that owns that toy record collectible shop in Southport that I work at? I might donate to him on his massive vintage toy wall because I don't think I would ever buy something like this for me. It looks pretty weird. Like, I think it's from the same cartoon series and toy line as this, but if this is how all the hero people look like, I think that's pretty dopey looking for me. Compared to this guy, I mean, look at that guy. As Alice Cooper once said, One look could kill my pain, your thrill. This guy, just Captain Lamo. Compared to Captain Death and the Death Walkers and Bad Attitude. Weird. And that's right, Nietzsche. Even I'm saying it's weird. What's all my good stuff? Good stuff is coming. I hope. Thank you, Moto Mike. You're a good guy. I knew you'd pull through. I'm not a collector of Shadow Riders like Captain Lamo. And Captain Bad Assitude. I like this guy. I'm not a collector of of Shadow Riders. But I'm a class I like to say I'm a would-be collector of classic monsters. And when I saw these that Moto Mike posted a long time ago, and that's what I do. When I look at posts, I'll try to read all your posts when you go live. I try to be there for every minute, but I have to call it quits sometimes. But look. Shadow Riders. You have no idea how hard it is in Australia for me, in my region where I live, it is to find them like this. Not just complete. I really couldn't care less if it's complete. Oh! It is complete, more or less. So that's what that little bit was from. Okay. So you get to have... You get to make me have a little fun by putting all the little bits and pieces together, my gay. Eh? That's pretty cool. Good thinking. Good interaction. That way people, when they get parts, they'll go, what the hell is this? This looks pretty cool. I just don't know how to put it on. Shit, that's tight. If it goes on like that. It does, the hell. It's poor, that's really poor character design. There we go. That's cool. One of Mike, just getting track. It's hard for me, at least where I live, to find that sort of stuff in good condition. About most of the time, even from Seth Trencher, the one that I got you for eight bucks is missing an arm. And it's like this weird, long, 
bony, weird looking crossy arm. It's missing that. Uh, for eight bucks, I had to have it. It's from this set too. But I love that skeleton look and feel. How cool does this look? The eyes. I mean, I mean look. They're, they're weird. They get chrome eyes. Reminds me of what's that old school 80s sci fi movie? They're alive. No. It's where a bunch of aliens disguise themselves to look human, and some sort of radio tower hides their physical characteristics, and they have these big, beady black eyes, and their faces look like these guys. And the good guys who show that all the aliens are aliens, they get killed in the end. Spoilers. But whatever. We guys had 30 odd years to watch that movie. They're alive, you know, they're among us. I don't know. But anyways, Mike, this is real hard to find stuff in this condition. And I couldn't care less if it's complete or incomplete. I really don't care. What I do care about is I have it. Ooh, that's something special. I'll do more of these. Ah, Steph. Steph Tranter, if you're on here, this is the figure that I got from you. But it's missing. Yours is missing one arm. But for eight bucks, I had to have it. It's this dude. Look at that. See, on yours, it's missing one of these weird, wacky arms. I mean, it's, it'll be, I mean, it's, it's like a spider leg, but it's actually an arm. So look. And each one comes the bone. Gee, and look at how tiny, like, if you find them, you won't know what it's from. Well, this, this is cool stuff, Mike. And you too, Steph, gave me one of these. So thanks for that. Well, not gave me, you sold it to me. But I dug through all your boxes. She had some stuff at a the Star Wars and Toy trade day that we had a few weeks ago. She had some good stuff. And I went up to her. I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic, Mike. But whatever. I want to say it. I want to say it. And I'll make fun of Steph. So anyway, I walked up to her table and I found some cool Disney stuff. I'm like, oh, this is a Mickey Mouse figure. Mickey Mouse. I'll buy it. I'll buy that Mickey Mouse figure. It's from Disney. And she goes, huh. You know what? I forgot he's from Disney. And then I'm like, that's okay. I'll forgive you for that. Oh, it's another one. It's another one, Mike. What I find a little bit of sniffing here. Dud damn. Look at this. It's like a golem frog skeleton man. It's missing oh! It's missing a sword, so I've got two daggers. So I bet ya it's for that. Look at the detail now. They did a really nice job on this toy line. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't go dead broke from the level of detail this is. It looks like there's gum. Like, what a Mike. He's been gummed. Like, that green shit, that's actually gum. I probably would have still bought it, but, you know. Chewing gum does not go on a toy. I think that's pretty nasty. I still like you, Mike. We're still friends, but that's gum. Makes it it's not blue tack, it's green. It's pretty nasty. <sighs> What's better than another one? Another one on top of that another one. Who oh the female one but she's missing hair but you know I got a good deal from it from you well I thought I did anyway and her legs are wonky unless they're supposed to be that no I don't think so it's a bit wanky how the hell would I stain this thing oh like that yeah this is the wrong way cool stuff. 
she is missing right here. Maybe I can that come off. Nope. I think if I rip it off, I'm gonna break it and warp it. Maybe I might. I might try to do something with her hair. There's something special. Okay, people. Remember this little dagger with the snake on it? And this armor that I said that I knew where it was from before I knew what it was from. This is the This is the Canadian TV series, Mummy's Alive. Amun. I do have another Amun, but he is missing this leg armor and this headpiece, but it's also missing the helmet. It's like a um, Skeletor's staff head. It's actually a ram skull head thing. And mine is also missing that piece right there. Awesome stuff. Mummy's Love from Canada. 90s cartoon TV series. It's a full on rip of like Star Gate. And it's definitely a rip off of He Man. Like straight away. By the strength of Raw. And then transform. Instead of by the power of Grayskull. Good show. I think three, maybe four seasons. It's a good show. The action figures. The action figures are good. Like, really good. This is the main villain. He's a white skinned Egyptian. I never knew there was such a thing. But in this series, ooh, his legs are wanky. His legs are really wide apart. Like, if they're supposed to be that wide. You know what? I think he's supposed to be sitting down on something. Oh yes, that's right. Moto Mike also gave offered me the vehicles. I don't like vehicles. I really don't. So I said, I like to do deal with just the action figures. Make sure you find someone who could appreciate the Mummy's Alive vehicles, and they're cool. They're really cool. Like that long. It's a dragster, but it's like a ancient Egyptian mummy dragster. It's good stuff. I really don't like vehicles. You can't really play with a vehicle. They only go from vroom. You know, and they don't go from vroom. You have to pretend play to go from vroom with it. So it's like, you know, a statue. But, you know, I could, you know, maybe make it a, a coffin for him. Ah, at least I think he is complete this moment. Or incomplete, but it's a start. I'm looking for armor from Mummy's Live, action figures from Mummy's Live, especially armor. So, if you don't know what Mummies are alive and you're trying to hunt me down some, watch two or three episodes. It's really corny in a good way, sometimes. The other episodes are really good, well thought of, but it's a full on He Man rip. And it's funny. It's also very much like Stargate with all the gods. At least in this show, the gods are actually real gods. And they have divine powers over life and death. Kind of like Mumra. Like Mumra's. Oh, what if he also ate Thundercats ripoff? Because there's gods of the underworld that power up other aspects of this cartoon show series. Wait. Okay, never thought of that. Damn. Mike, you really do a good job on putting shit together and packaging it. Awesome. So I'll just put on that loose boot. I'm gonna put on his boot, eh? You know I'm talking about? Here he is. That's one piece on. Look at that, the wing. I got at least one wing for him. Oh, I need the other bits before I put it on. Duh. I've never had Mummy's Live Action Figures. Ooh, I may not, I may not actually be able to put it on. 
that way. Hmm, that's disappointing. Ah! This is the weapon for Amun. So he's almost fully complete. How cool is that? How fun! But, the hell? What? What? Like that? Whatever. I don't think that they cared about the size of that hand hole for his weapon. Nope, they did not. That's pretty wanky. Really? That's pretty fugly. Yeah, that's that's so bad. It doesn't even fit his hand. Or the handhole. That's really dodgy, shoddy work. But do you guys have that issues with your toys? I get no idea how that wing. The fuck. People, I'm begging you. If you've got mummies alive stuff, parts, accessory armor, please PM me. Me. If you don't know who I am, you know who I am now. Ooh. Oh, that's clever. He used a peanut for the antennas of this villain. Oh. I dropped my scissors in the box. Awesome. Another mummy's live figure. Can't remember which one. So that's the eagle, so this must be the snake guy. I think. Must be the snake guy, or at least the guy that uses this mighty weapon. No, I think that's the bad guy's weapon. Yep. So I think he has snake armor. And there's actually a female one of these as well. She's quite attractive, even as a mummy. Mummy's alive, feeling with antennae still non broken. That's good workmanship, more than like. And I bet you it won't fit his hands. Oh, it did. Wow. There. I was going to say barely fit his hands. Doesn't come close. But it is for that figure. Canadians, why couldn't you do a better job on the whole hand thing? On your toys. That's just bad. Unless. It's supposed to go in there. I don't know. But then again, I never had these awesome stuff. In fact, I remember at Toys R Us that they had Mummies Alive, but I've never seen the show until, like, probably just before leaving America to, for Australia. Oh, maybe the wing piece is supposed to be for this dude. I don't know. So maybe this is the snake guy. I think that's the snake guy. I don't know. I don't know my Egyptian gods. What my snippy snip. There we go. There's something. I'm still missing something to attach it. That's another mummy's alive. He's almost complete. His missing helmet, his wing, and weapon, and another armor bit. Yes, Andrew Burnett. Took you long enough to get here. I'm doing an unboxing, a Mudo Mike unboxing. 
I've been waiting for a long time to do an unboxing for Moto Mike. But Lynn Stay did a three hour live video feed and then I had to go to work. And then Chris Daniels did another three hour live video feed. Which is fine. They're allowed to do that. They are allowed to do that. Ooh, this is fun. This is one of the bad guys. In Mummy's Love. How cool is that? Look at that. Can you see his brain? Look at that. That's funny. I like that. Brain and teeth. That's funny. How the Oh! It's spring loaded between his legs. I've been driving. Fool! No. I don't think so, Andrew. I think you're lying. I'm no, just kidding. You never lie. Or cheat. Damn it. That's the end of my box. I don't like that. You know, when I dig through all of my treasures and toys, but I found out there's no more. It leaves an empty, box like feeling. Motor Mike, you're a good guy. Your packaging was good. I have no idea what this is from. Would you please elaborate? Can you ID this for me? It's a missile, but look at that. I don't know what that's from, but I dig it. I mean, I really dig it. Whoa. Look at how many different ways you can die from that. Well, thank you very much for watching, Andrew. I've got to goo and clean some shit.